but then i enjoyed um the communication aspect of it so much mm. that then when time came for me to look for attachment i went to ktn mm. i think by then i was in my second year mm. to seek for attachment mm-hmm. i didn't know anyone there all i knew is i wanted to be within in in the media industry so i went applied went for an interview and i think one of the experiences that started shaping my world view was that interview i was interviewed by by then that was uh, farida karuni mm. she was the um, director and one of the questions she asked me is um did you watch news yesterday i said no did you watch news today i said no did you watch news last week i said no and she said so what have you come to do here <laughs> this is about news and telling stories and all that and i said you know there's a challenge because when you go to the tv room um either people are watching something and you can't dictate and say you want and she said no 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 that is an excuse so that really taught me about getting to know what is happening yeah, locally I guess, yeah. yeah globally like being having that information at my fingertips like that was really really important i'm so glad she gave me a chance she still did yeah she did mm-hmm. she did i think i i performed well mm. yeah so of course mm. she did and mm. i really enjoyed my time as a, an intern at um, ktn mm. getting mm. to cover stories get, getting to support major senior reporters to do documentaries mm. um really really amazing telling stories mm. um yeah mm-hmm. that was that that's university. really nice that's really nice and i mean uh, and it it also contributes to your to your grades right you, oh yes it, yeah. being being a student leader no 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 to your Attach, grades attachment? attachment yeah no it's just your attachment is that was a personal initiative oh it was a personal yeah so your attachment mm-hmm. uh, the way you earn is is your attachment doesn't get graded no. and contribute it's no. just for and, your and, experience and unless that has changed now but by then okay. it, it wasn't that All was right. just personal initiative i had so much free time in my hands mm-hmm. and i wanted okay. to get work experience all right mm-hmm. okay um other things that are are you socially or academically or extracurricularly any other thing that's happening in your in your nice busy uh, politically charged life <laughs> so i also remember looking for some jobs here and there mm-hmm. and i remember getting um an opportunity to be a sales person mm. for Hako Industries ah. to sell pens and stationery to companies look at mm. and we used to be about 20 or so sales persons mm. and at the beginning of the day we'd meet at Jivanji and get a whole pack of um stationery that we were supposed to sell mm. and for me like by 2 p.m. I'd be through and I'd be boring my friends you know you know give me yours oh, man. you know because at the end of the day I knew you know what this is how I earn my bread this is how I feed myself this is how I support my siblings so I need to sell more mm. sell faster than make more money mm. um so some some of my friends would wonder eh Karen you you're a really good sales person but no I knew I needed to work hard and, and make money so that means I needed to sell more mm. so that was one one of the things that was keeping me busy the other was conducting research mm. I then sort of um started engaging with civil society mm. movement doing researches here and there about mm. young people mm. doing surveys mm. um and and that was interesting because then i used to get paid mm. from that um mm. the other was um speaking on behalf of students mm. on behalf of young people here there um and and that was interesting i would get paid again to do that mm. <laughs> um the other i also then started getting involved quite actively mm. um within the youth movement mm-hmm. um like i started taking part in um formulation of the national youth policy the mm-hmm. first ever mm-hmm. i took part actively in that process and in the process i got elected as the western province representative for young people mm-hmm. to make sure that the policy was disseminated mm. in the region and mm. at the national level so mm. i think that mm. was a push for me to now even get into the work i'm doing now mm. and in the process of engaging with um the ministry of youth affairs mm-hmm. then mm. i got my first appointment to join a board mm. um just before i cleared campus mm-hmm. um 
the board of NACADA mm. to represent young people. Mm. And that was an interesting opportunity. Mm. Still a student struggling, mm. trying to make ends meet, but also still discovering myself mm. to find out, so who am I? Mm. Uh, you know, and all that. But Get it's enough, interesting to join a board. Yes. That must must have been so huge because this is a national Oh, yes, board. it was. Yeah? I remember the then Professor George Saitoti mm. was the minister mm. in charge of um, internal security, mm. had done the appointment because mm. Nakada is under yeah. that ministry. Yeah. And he convened the first meeting. Mm. I oh, went man. there and I look around the room and I was seeing the who is who in mm. Kenya, people mm. who are established have done amazing stuff. Mm. Um, and I wondered, wow, what am I doing? How here? will I fit in here? Mm. Like I was so concerned about fitting in and wondering really, mm. I know I'm confident out there, but here, mm. no. Mm. And when we're going around doing introductions, mm. I even was shaking when mm. I was introducing myself. Mm. But I remember one of the board members, I, oh, she's a lovely lady, called Dr. Manguyu, mm. a pediatrician. She called me aside and told me, you know what, Karen? You might be young on this board, but you're the most qualified person to speak on youth issues. So I need you to look within you and find your voice, find your courage and speak up. Mm. You are qualified. I am here to support you. And she used to mentor me. She used to make time drive with me wherever she's going and I'd listen to her, ask questions, she would guide me mm. to the point where I now found my voice, found my place mm. and started advocating for young people around mm. issues of drug abuse and addiction and rehabilitation. Mm. And so when the time came for me to be appointed on other boards and mm. I, I knew what happens in boardrooms, mm. I knew my place, I knew how to prepare um, for the for board meetings, mm. read board papers, mm. have conversations, mm. do your research. Mm. So mm. mentorship. That was very key. Yes. Yeah. So was she, was she like your first huge mentor in that? I mean, in that kind of... In that space? In yes, that space. absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't even know. Whether she knew she was mentoring me, but mm. oh, she she, I mean, she really was just impacting me. Yes. wisdom and passing it on. Yes, in, as it were in, yeah. in in her time and deliberately so for you. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, you know, so as a student, I was still yeah trying to make ends meet, trying mm. to finish school, look, looking for a job yeah. and all that. Mm. Um, and the interesting thing is, we would go for board meetings mm. and you know, like senior government officials would be some of the board members. Mm -hmm. And so when the meetings are over, um, the drivers come, some security people come, mm. and you know, guys are just driven away, and I'd be there. And Dr. Mungu said, Karen, you will drive with me. <laughs> you know, because then, <laughs> mm. so she really covered me. Mm. And I, I know you, you keep saying, we will get back to that. Mm. We will get to that story. Mm. But she really covered me that now, mm. that is the role I'm playing for younger people yeah. men and women guiding yeah. them supporting them telling mm. them you know mm. where you are is not your final destination right, right. it's just a stepping stone so right. pick yourself put no, yourself together this and is keep going this it's come full circle for you and oh yes now you're she paid it forward now you are oh, paid yeah. forward as well yes absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. that's that's uh, as it should be again very very important uh it was done for you now you do it for others